There is room for all the various races in this country. This is Nelson Mandela. He's an activist and a leader. He has abused his position because he hoped that I would not reply. He was completely mistaken. I am replying now. At 12 years old, Mandela dreamed of the day he could contribute to the struggles of his people. It wasn't until 1944, when he joined the African National Congress, that he would be able to achieve his dream. However, in 1956 Mandela was convicted of treason and other malicious acts. He ended up getting sentenced to life in prison in 1964. Twenty-six years later, in 1990, Mandela was released from prison. In 1993, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. And in 1994, he became South Africa's first democratically elected president. He stepped down as president five years later, in 1999. He continued to work with the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. He set up in 1995 and established the Nelson Mandela Foundation and the Mandela Rhodes Foundation. Despite terrible provocation, he never answered racism with racism. His life and legacy serves to inspire those affected by oppression and racism to take a stand and continue where he left off. Mary Ann Shadkeri was an African-American activist, writer, teacher and lawyer. She was born in 1823 in the slave state of Delaware. Her parents were free African-Americans who were dedicated to abolitionism. The Shad families participated in the Underground Railroad until 1850 when Congress passed the Fugitive Slave Act. After the passage of this law, Murray moved to Ontario, Canada. She opened a school for black and white students. She wrote and lectured about the importance of freedom. While she was living in Canada, Mary eventually became the first black female newspaper editor in North American history. When she published Canada's first anti-slavery newspaper, The Provincial Freeman, she also wrote for a local African-American newspaper, The New National Era, and gave public speeches to encourage African-Americans to work together. Mary also became involved in the women's suffrage movement. She was a member of the National Women's Suffrage Association, NWSA, and spoke at the NWSA's 1878 convention. Mary died of stomach cancer on June 5, 1893. Nowadays, the house she lived in is listed as a National Historic Landmark.